So let's take a look at taking the antiderivative of x, ln of x, using integration by parts. So we're going to choose a u, and we're going to choose a dv. And the way we do this is, well, we don't know the antiderivative of ln of x, or we can't find it very easily. So ln of x is going to be a good choice for our u, because we do know it's derivative. dv, we're actually going to let be x. Now this is maybe a little counterintuitive, but we do know how to find the v very easily. It's just x squared over 2, and du equals 1 over x dx. We should have a dx with our x here. The reason we chose it this way is because we know the derivative of ln of x, the antiderivative of ln of x, ln of x is not trivial but we can find the antiderivative of x very easily. Now we're going to see this is going to work out pretty nice for us as we put things back. So first off, uv, so ln of x times x squared over 2 minus the integral of v du. v is x squared over 2 and du is 1 over x dx. If you notice what happens here we're actually going to get a piece to cancel because we can cancel out this x with one of the x's here. And that's actually just going to be x over 2. And if we go ahead and rewrite this, I'm going to write the x squared over 2 out front, ln of x, minus, I'm going to pull the constant out, 1 half times the antiderivative of x dx. So we're almost there. We have one more antiderivative to do, and it's a pretty simple one. So we have x over 2 ln of x minus 1 half. The antiderivative of x, we already did this once, it's just x squared over 2 plus c. Now we may decide to simplify just a little bit more and combine these fractions. So last step, we're going to have x, sorry, that should be an x squared. I forgot to write the square x squared over 2 ln of x minus x squared over 4 plus c. And now we're done.